His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders of Arab and Islamic countries marking Prophet Muhammad's birthday. His Majesty King Hamad expressed his warmest congratulations to them, wishing them continuous good health and happiness and their people for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders of Arab and Islamic countries marking Prophet Muhammad's birthday. His Royal Highness expressed his warmest congratulations to them, wishing them continuous good health and happiness and their people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders of Arab and Islamic countries marking Prophet Muhammad's birthday. His Royal Highness expressed his warmest congratulations to them, wishing them continuous good health and happiness and to the Arab and Islamic nations further progress and prosperity. Under the auspicious of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments held yesterday a celebration on the occasion of Prophet Muhammad's birthday, peace be upon him, at the Ahmed Al Fatah Islamic Center Grand Mosque. Under Secretary for Islamic Affairs of the Ministry of Justice, Islamic and Endowments Affairs, Dr. Farid bin Yaqub Al Muftah stressed the importance of correcting misconceptions to combat terrorism and wrong behavior to highlight the pure civilized image of Islam as a religion. President at the Supreme Sharia a Court of Appeals, Sunni Directorate Ibrahim al Mreikhi stressed that Prophet's Day is the birth of the nation. Judge of the Supreme Ja'fari Sharia Court of Appeals, Sheikh Nasr al Asfur, said that people should follow the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, guided by him and his morality, and to work on self improving in all aspects of life. Information and Parliament's Affairs Minister Isa Al Hamadi stressed the crucial role of media and art in cultivating patriotism, conserving cultural identity, deepening shared communal and human values. The celebration was organized by the Ministry of Information Affairs and was also attended by Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister Zaid bin Rashid Al Zayani, and Youth and Sports Minister Hisham bin Mohammed Al Joder. Al Hamadi took pride in organizing the festival, which brought together an elite of Bahrain music stars along with Bahrain music bands led by Maestro. Khalifa bin Zaman. The concert was held as part of festivities marking Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the accession of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the throne. Al Hamadi stressed the ministry's keenness on media coverage of culture activities and revealing songs and national art events which stem from a firm belief in its instrumental role in shedding light on Bahrain's millennia old history, development strides, urban and economic hard won achievements, and tourism iconic monuments in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The foreign minister hailed the initiative to hold the Bahrain Patriotic Music Festival. He said that the concert delighted the attendees, being one of the best musical events in years. Azayani commended the initiative of Al Hamadi to organize the festival, expressing the hope that such celebratory national events would be repeated. Al Joder hailed the remarkable organization of the festival, which reflects deep spirit of the belonging to Bahrain and strong allegiance to the wise leadership. The names of the winners in the third edition of the poetry competition Proud Nation, launched by Radio Bahrain as part of its grid of programs, were also announced. والملحن الصاحب الفنان عادل محمود الفنانة حنان رضا الفنان وليد جلال لالتقاط هذه الصورة جماعية شيخونا